Hello, my name is Chris Delamater and I work at Northeast Bank. Uh, we have offices in Western, Central and Southern Maine and offices also in Boston and New York. My job at the bank is the marketing director. So I oversee the advertising and the website and uh, communications and who we give money to and who we, um, how we represent Northeast Bank in the community. Uh, and today I'm here to talk to you about session two called Sweeto Donuts. And this is session two of the JA, our community program. And so I hope you had a uh, fun looking at different types of jobs in session one. But today we're gonna to talk about how businesses make a product and how employees help with that process and how they earn money at, the, at their job. So I'm gonna share my screen and share some slides here. So as I said, we're gonna talk about session two today of the JA, our community presentation. And we're gonna talk about Sweeto Donuts. The goal of today is to learn a little bit about how you make a product and how you earn money uh, in, in, in the place of a business. So let's look at our community poster. And you looked at this in session one and you looked at a lot, a lot of different jobs. Um, today, we're going to talk about Sweeto Donuts. So the donut shop here on, on the main street. And we're going to talk about the baker that works at Sweeto Donuts. So what is a baker? A baker is someone who makes the breads and the cupcakes and the, and the pastries and the donuts. It makes those uh, products uh, at the bakery. And uh, they can work anywhere. They can work in a bakery, <clears throat> an individual bakery like Sweeto Donuts, or they can work at grocery stores, hotels, restaurants. Typically they need a high school education and they need to be able to um, you know, think on their feet, measure flour and sugar, have good reading, writing and computer skills, be able to communicate with their coworkers and uh, be able to effectively <clears throat> make uh, baked goods at, at a bakery or, or a place that makes um, baked items. And uh, you know they could be similar jobs to a baker is, is a chef or a cook. So a chef at a restaurant, a cook um, at, at a restaurant as well. So there's, there's different types of skills here that um, can, trans, can kind of com combine across different organizations. So next we're gonna talk about goods and services. So what's a, what is a good? Uh, a good is an item that can be bought or sold something that's tangible, you can pick it up like a dress or shoes or um, a TV or a donut. And then a service is something that is a work that is done for others, such as haircuts, car repairs, someone uh, mows your lawn, they're doing a service for you. So it's something that work that can be done for others. And then next let's talk about pro what's a product. So a product is something that is made to sell. So in the case of Sweeto Donuts, donuts are a product. The baker works with the team and they make donuts that are available to sell. So they're, they're a product. And then when you're making something, when you're making um, multiple products, it is it, the act of making those product products is called production. So the baker, is in, is in the act of, of production, pr producing donuts. All right. So as I said, right, you can um, produce is another word for make. So if you're, if you're producing uh, a donut, you're making that donut. And then the act of making something is production. So the baker is making a donut producing the donuts in, in, in a group and they're in the act of making something and they're in a production line. So they're making donuts along the way. What, what is a defect? Uh, I wonder if anybody knows what a defect is, but a defect is, de is defined as a flaw or a mistake. So if you walked into a donut shop and you saw a donut had a crack in it or was falling apart, and then you saw another donut beside it that was perfectly round, and covered with frosting and it had sprinkles on it and it looked really, really amazing, which donut would you want? Most likely you're gonna want the one that looks, looks amazing versus the one that's broken. And so 
um, you know, it's important that businesses work hard to make the products that look amazing. So at Sweeto Donuts, the baker and the team are making donuts that are designed to taste great. So the ingredients and how they make it is very important. And they also want to look appealing so that people want to buy it. And when they buy it, they're excited how it tastes and they want to buy more. So that's, that's what the baker's job is. They're, they're, producing a, they're producing a product with a production team to create products that don't have any defects, that, that look great and taste great. And then customers want to come in and buy those donuts and come, keep coming back. So taking that a step further is innovation. So is, who knows what innovation is? Innovation is, the, is a new way of doing something. So at, at Sweet O Donuts, they're, all, they're always trying to think up new ideas and new combinations of ingredients that could be a fun new donut or pastry or, or, or bread or cake that customers have not seen before. And it's exciting to see that. And it also tastes great. Maybe there's a specific combination of ingredients that have never been combined before. And then once combined, it's, it's an amazing tasting bread or cake or cupcake. So that's being innovative, thinking outside the box and being, you know, being okay with failure. If you fail at, at innovating, it's fine. You have, you have to fail to learn what's good and what's bad. And then you'll find something that's, that's really amazing. Um, I'm actually gonna share an example of, of some of innovation at a donut, stop, donut shop. So I'm going to share my screen here. And this is a web page for Dominique Ansel Bakery in New York City. And their bakery, they make baked goods just like Sweet O Donuts, but they created the cronut. And the cronut is a combination between a croissant and a donut. And as you can see, they sell them in individual packages that look very, very nice, that present really well, and they taste amazing. And Instead of a dollar for a donut, like Sweet O Donuts charges, uh, Dominique Ansel Bakery charges $6 for each Krona. So they were innovative. They created something that was that tastes, tastes really, really good and that people want to keep buying and coming back. And, it, and so that, that results in they can charge more money for it. They have a good supply and demand. They have a good demand for this product. And they're able to charge six dollars a donut and they have a line out the door every single day and they sell out of their donuts their, their cronuts every day so this is a good example i feel of, of of a baker being innovative in creating a new product that they can sell and help their employees earn a great wage and the business be successful back to the slides. So hopefully today uh, we gave you a good overview of what products and services are, how they're produced, how to be innovative and avoid flaws and defects, uh, which allows your business to be successful and your employees to be happy. Thanks very much and I hope you enjoy session three of JA Our Community.